Hey Earth Signs and welcome to your guys' daily love reading. This is for Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Hope you guys are having a beautiful Wednesday. Let's see what is going on for the day. Not all messages will res resonate with you, so please just take out what applies and leave what doesn't. These messages are meant for those 18 years of age and older and for entertainment purposes only. So let's have some fun. All right. Let's get Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, and Daily Love. One card, please, with a central issue. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Taurus, Virgo. Alright, Taurus, you guys have the Six of Cups, Virgo, the Prince of Swords, and Capricorn, the King of Wands. Your guys' essential issue is temperance, beautiful. The basis of the reading is the Princess of Pentacles. Alright, so Taurus, you guys um, could be reconciling, reconciling with somebody of your past, uh, somebody you have children with, or somebody who you have just been with before. If you're not reconnecting with somebody of your past, you are um, finding balance and healing by, uh, you know, thinking back, using those memory, those good times, those good memories to get through difficult times. There's a lot of healing here, a lot of balance coming into your life. The world did flip for you, Taurus. So um, things are coming to an end. The King of Pentacles and the Two of Swords in reverse also fell out, but they didn't flip over. So you could um, be ending a relationship with a spouse or somebody you have children with, um, coming to a, a finish, to an end, and ready to start a new cycle. With that temperance, you're finding a lot of peace and balance now that the separation is over, now that the breakup is over, um, enjoying time with your children, finding that healing energy. In the time of Sagittarius, um, you do have a Taurus, Leo, Aquarius, or Scorpio coming into your life that is going to step in as um, you know, into your family role, you know, um, this does have a lot to do with how much you are investing in your healing, you know, your, your time alone, you're finding peace in the situation, finding peace within yourself. Um, today is a very good day to wrap things up, to bring things to an end, to close out whatever cycles are ready to be finished. Um, so then you can begin that healing process. And like I said, in that time of Sagittarius, um, you are going to have somebody new coming in for you. That's going to change your whole world. All right, Virgos, you guys have the Prince of Swords. You're coming in very quickly with some truth. Um, the Moon, the Five of Swords, and the Empress did uh, come out for you there. So you're coming in very quickly. Could be dealing with a Sagittarius or somebody who um, you find a lot of healing energy with. Um, you're coming in speaking... You're coming in very quickly. Um, you could be needing to apologize to this person um, because you are the one with the swords. The moon and the five of swords, there's been a lot of conflict here, a lot of arguing. Um, a lot of things held back, your emotions. Um, with the empress there, you could be wanting to create a new life with somebody, wanting this a new stage in the connection. You could have been dealing with a third party and you're moving towards a third party um, and eliminating all the competition, but you're making a decision very quickly coming in very matter-of-factly. You could need to apologize, however, with that Prince of Swords there um, because something was done, not done right with this moon. Um, we do have a full moon coming this Saturday, so you could be feeling the effects of that energy right now, but you're going to work this out. You, with Temperance and the Empress, this is a divine connection, um, whether you're the female or the male. Um, this is a divine partnership with that Empress and Temperance together. However, there's been a lot of conflict, which is often seen with, you know, the divine partnerships. Um, but that is coming together. You're going to be able to get over it. You're going to be able to get through it. There could be conflicts about money. You're going to resolve that too, Virgo. Today's a good day to come forward, apologize, or, you know, allow someone else to apologize to you. <clears throat> and to put the past in the past. It's now time to move forward and create that new life you're wanting with this person. Because this is a reconciliation for you guys for sure. Moving moving out of that dark energy or that conflictive energy and in towards something of balance. Wow. Capricorns, you got the King of Wands clarified with King of Wands in reverse. And that flew out. So you're dealing most definitely with the fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, or you have that in your sun, moon, or rising. 
um, one of you is very confident, one of you is ready to move forward, one of you is ready to take action, the other one is um, kind of an emotional wreck right now. They could be having financial issues. Um, this could be a business uh, because the Ace of Pentacles is at the bottom, but no matter what, Capricorns, this is a new beginning. Why is the King of Wands here twice? There is balance coming in for you. There is healing. Um, why is the King of Wands here for Capricorn twice? Thank you. The Five of Wands in reverse. So the end of conflict, the hangman in reverse, the queen of wands, and the high priest. Wow. Okay, this is a strong connection. Queen of swords at the bottom. The truth is coming out. Things are moving forward. Look at that. The king and queen of wands coming together with the high priest, a higher knowing with temperance. This most definitely is a higher level um, connection. Putting the past behind you, leaving the conflict in the wayside, no longer delaying. You've seen the light. You know what you want, and you are moving forward, taking action, and taking your king or queen with you. Um, you are going to open up to a secret of the universe today. The angels, your, your guides, whatever, however you meditate, some sort of important information is coming in for you from the angels that's going to bring you balance, peace, and moving forward. No longer take delay. Take action. You know which way to take forward now, Leo, and it, or Capricorn, and it is going to bring you places with your person. This is moving into a higher level of commitment. No longer waiting. You could be getting engaged today, Capricorn, for some of you. But no matter what, no need to delay any longer, Capricorn. Today is your day to take action. And it's going to bring you peace, balance, harmony, and healing. All right, Earth Signs, I hope you guys have a beautiful day. I will see you tomorrow. Also, check out my channel for your weekly readings that will be going up in the next couple of days. Starting November 1st, I will be doing daily lives on Patreon. Join me over there. All the information is in the description box. And I will see you tomorrow. God bless.